Hey guys, Anthony from Audio Systems. Look at this is a brand new GMC 2020. We're going to be installing this Helix DSP Mini. It's six channels in. It's going to allow us to get into the computer, hook it up to this thing, correct the problems that this dealership did uh, with all pass filters and whatnot. And then from there, we can make the system sound beautiful. Now, there is a system in the vehicle that has a Lynx 4, which is a high to low, kind of like the LC2, LC6 is, all that stuff. Uh, but we're going to take that out. We're going to be installing the DSP so we can make it sound even better. Now, this is double the price of one of those items, but you're potentially going to get double the sound, right? So double the price is worth it. Cool. Check it out. This is what was in there, Link 4. We took this out. The other device. In my opinion, the truck sounded like perfect, right? But there's something like que le faltaba, you know, just that little one touch that, that, that had to make the truck sound perfect. All right, guys, as you can see, Jack's doing the tune right there. He is getting everything set. Green Mines is going to be real time. And then the uh, red line is going to be our reference. He's going to tweak everything. This is what we're going to do to fix all these problems. Uh, and I can't stress it enough that these vehicles come to protect the car so you can't burn the speakers. But the downfall with that is when you add higher end stuff, you don't want that. Because then you, you get limited on the potential of your system. The curves and all the... Into all the curves that the, the manufacturer took because of it. Which is like lowering the base, lifting up the mids, missing information, flipping one speaker to another side, like the phase. These are all things that the dealership does to make bad speakers sound good, but it makes really good speakers sound bad. Just the nature, belly of the beast. This was bad too. I know his buffer ball. Again. What's going on guys? This is Anthony with the Audio Systems. Check out Omar and Javier as they rip through this razor and installing this MTX package. Enjoy. This is Javier from Audio Systems, and I'm working on designing a, a box for one customer that he wants signing nice, you know? Um, so I'm playing with this uh, software that I've been using for a long time. It helps us to design a box depending on what kind of music the customer listens to. We can predict how this one kind of react depending on the power that you're putting into the worker, tuning frequency. So for this customer, because he wants to have quality and not be like super loud, we're trying to get a, a flat curve. So it'll play good with most of the music. 
an L plate in order to know with a louder box. Uh, so we can right here change this number that is a tuning frequency on the port. Uh, we're making a, a ported box, it's a, you know, a really small subwoofer that we're getting. So we need the more output that we can get out of the woofer. That's why we're well going with a ported box. You know, see how this woofer is going to do depending on the first characteristics of the woofer. If it's going to be a vented or sealed, this, this mark over here, depending on where it is, it tells you we recommend this woofer to be in a ported box or this woofer to be on a sealed box. In this case, it's like right in the middle, so you can do good on, on both boxes. So we already, you know, choose whatever box that we want, so it's going to be a ported, it's going to be two woofers. Uh, and then we go to the vent design. Right here is where you tune the port. So by changing this number right here, I'm gonna do 35 hertz right now. By doing that, it automatically changes how long the port is gonna be. So it's gonna give, give it's giving me all the dimensions right now. Uh, how how the port is gonna be? One inch by seven by 22 inches, uh, almost. 22 and a half inches to get it tuned at 35 hertz. We don't want to go too low on this one uh, because it's such a small woofer that it is not going to handle, you know, like 32 hertz and things like that. And like I say, going up on right here in the tuning frequency, you're going to get a better, uh, like a little bit more based on a regular or lower frequency. And this is a box design. This is gonna be the shape. We have all the dimensions right now. You know how tall, how deep, and all that. So this is a, a, a nice, a nice tool for us to have. That way we can predict how this box is gonna sound. If it's too much power for the woofer, or one of the most important things is getting the right tuning frequency with the port. So that's one of the most important things. Uh, so most of the boxes that that we do, we do it, you know, depending on what the customer wants. Uh, that way we can have all the time better uh, end results before we do anything. And a lot of times, depending on the car too, we just mock, uh, make a, a box before uh, we do the final box to position the, the box on woofers to, to get the best sound of the woofer on, on that specific car. Some cars, they, they want to have the woofer facing up, facing to the back, facing to the front, facing to the side. So we we do a lot of those testing. Uh, a lot of times with customer, you know, it's he wants something to, to be different than, you know, a pre-made box. That makes a lot of difference. Those small details, those small details is what it makes a big difference when you build the box. So you have to realize that we spend some time building a box and designing the box for our customers to get the best out of the, you know, whatever brand they choose. Uh, it's not a pre-made pre box and it's going to sound just like any, any other woofer or any other place that they only use prefabricated uh, pre boxes. Uh, so there is a lot of things behind uh, on this kind of stuff that customers don't don't know, but we can always help people to understand all the, the, the things behind to have a really good results on a subwoofer box. See you guys later. And again, this is Javier from Audio Systems.
have, I am in a new location. I'm in a new building. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys know right now. No. All right, guys. So that's what I had uh, for you. Usually we make clips like that on our Instagram. So if you want to follow our Instagram, we do those little clips like that. Um, again, I'm sorry I haven't been making that much videos. It's because we're at a new location. A lot of stuff's been going down. Um, and also getting a new editing computer so I can edit faster. We'll be able to show you stuff in 4K hopefully in the future. That's why some of the videos have been getting better because we're recording a higher resolution. And I'm just trying to make better content for you guys. Um, hope you like the new style of recording. It is cool. Again, follow us on Instagram. You can get shorter videos like that if you like them. And this is just a little makeup for everything that we've been going through. And uh, thanks. Thanks for being here. Oh, and please like, comment, and subscribe.